Hello and welcome students to another episode of History at Home. In today's episode, we will be looking at a class procedure that we will follow this school year together. This class procedure is how do I ask to leave the class? So in order to leave the classroom this school year, I would like for you to follow this class procedure. So what you're going to do is open up your world history binder to your hall pass page, which looks just like that. And you're going to do and perform this silent cue. You're going to raise your hand, make eye contact with me, and then point down to your hall pass page, just like you see in this GIF. So open up your binder to that bright pink hall pass page, point up and then point down at your hall pass quietly. After that point, I'll come over to your binder and I will initial one of your hall passes. After that, you'll have to go and submit a smart pass. So you'll fill out your smart pass. You'll open up your browser and click on smart pass. You'll create a pass now. You'll say you're coming from my classroom and the destination that you're heading to. And then from there, you'll click start pass. As soon as you do that, then you can quietly exit the classroom. Also on your hall pass page, you'll see in the bottom right hand corner, this note down here. Your hall passes also function as a way of rewarding you with extra credit. So if you read that section down there, it says that you can earn up to four extra credit points each marking period by not using your hall passes. So you'll start every quarter with six passes. You can submit up to four of them for extra credit at the end of a marking period. And oftentimes those four extra credit points will equate to a one percentage point or greater bump in the grade book. That could be the difference between getting an A in my class or a B in my class. So it's important for you to try to earn the extra credit that you can by staying in the classroom. Now, I do want to make this clear. Using your hall passes will never hurt your grade. This is just my way of trying to get you some extra credit by staying in class. Finally, if you look over into the bottom left-hand corner, you will see a note that says homework extension pass. So I also will provide you with a homework extension pass at the start of each quarter. And your homework extension pass allows you to delay a homework assignment by 24 hours. So if you get home and you're just too white from school, maybe you have a lot of things outside the classroom that are going on, you can come into class the following day, present me with your homework extension pass, and you would have bought yourself an extra 24 hours to work on a homework assignment. There is a caveat to this though, you cannot use this on tests or quizzes. You can't use this on a project. You can't use this on an essay either. So this is more for routine nightly homework and not for larger assignments like tests and quizzes, projects, or essays. All right, so summarizing today's video for you, in order to leave the classroom, what you'll need to do is open up your binder to that pink hall pass page. And then from there, you'll have to raise your hand and point down. Um, wait for me to sign it, just like you see here in this GIF. Make sure that you're pointing up and then pointing down at that pink hall pass page. That is your silent cue to me that you need to leave the classroom. After I have signed or initialed your hall pass, please create a smart pass. Submit that before you leave the classroom. And remember, you can get up to six hall passes each marking period. Uh, you can submit four of those for extra credit. And your hall pass page also includes a homework extension pass. You get one of those per marking period. All right, that's all for today. Thank you for watching, and I will see you soon.